So I'm walking right now here in Ecorse, Michigan, which is right around the block from my house, actually. And, well, I'm originally from Lincoln Park, and uh, that's where my parents stay. And I'm uh, in Ecorse right around the block from here on Jefferson and Southfield. There's a, uh, there's looking right there. There's the Detroit River right here. And this was U.S. Steel. Well, actually, it still is U.S. Steel. Uh, they still own it, but being that U.S. Steel shut down about 90% uh, of their plant, they don't use this building anymore. But this used to be uh, for administrative purposes. We do like safety training. It used to be called the Stinson Center. Well, it's probably still called the Stinson Center, but. Anyways, no longer really active. Uh, this is Grand Port Cafe, or Grand Port Grill. It used to be Carter's, the place where they used to get like a little cheap little uh, uh, hamburgers. But they changed up a little bit in there. Now it's a little bit more modern, and it's less of a greasy spoon Coney Island feel. It's more of like a, I don't know, uh, a little bit more, a little bit pricier. I say cheap little burgers. They used to have inexpensive little sliders. So, um, but things have changed and they're no longer that kind of little Coney Island. Oh, there's a rainbow right there. That's pretty cool. I don't think it's raining, but there's indeed a rainbow. There's, oh, that's a large rainbow up there. Wow. It goes all the way across the river. So, a little pavilion there, and we were right on the Detroit River right here. Good spot for fishing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's cool looking. It goes all the way down there. Oh, there are two. Hey, I don't know if you can see from the video here, but yeah, uh, it's really neat. So. A pavilion and a little playground here. Well, that's actually not a pavilion there, that's the restroom. Now, there's a little Coney Island right there, which I go to sometimes. And then there's a bait shop, and then uh, and there's a little bar right there. So this is, I guess you can say this is uh, technically downtown Ecorse, even though it's not a, uh, I don't know, I guess it, it's not a whole lot of nightlife other than a bar, a couple bars, but boy, that's a very vibrant looking rainbow right there. I'm glad I decided to do the video right now, or uh, decided to do the video right here. Very colorful, and the video just doesn't do it justice. Yeah, I know, it's uh, very vibrant. So this little island right here 
is, I believe, Mud Island, and they turn into a, a wildlife refuge or something like that. The, either the e-course or the county did or something like that. It could have even been U.S. Steel, I forget, but... Uh, but I wish they would have uh, made a little... I don't know, it would have been cool if they would have extended e-course and put a little bridge there or a walkway or something there. That would have been cool, but it is not that far away. I mean, it's not that far away and it's almost in swimming distance kind of so I don't know would been cool if they would have used it for something else and not just a wildlife reserve but it's whatever a lot of people out here are looking at the rainbow which is pretty nice like I said I'm glad I came out here uh, to shoot this video here We'll have a rainbow right on the river like that. Now this is Oh, my shoes are getting all wet. I forgot that I didn't realize how wet it was out here. It uh, rained earlier, and uh, and so the grass is all wet, so therefore my shoes got a little wet, but it's whatever. Now, I did a video of this park, which is, it's Dingle Park, named after John Dingle, who was in the government for years here in uh, Wayne County but anyways uh, I did a video here at Dingle Park when it was snowing probably not last winter but I believe the winter before I could be wrong but uh, I think that's Canada over there at some point well at some point it is but I don't know if it's uh, directly that island right there or if if it's not but yeah I believe that is at least it's the Canadian waters So that's one thing about e-course in this little downtown area of e-course is that fishing is big out here. Um, very fishing enthusiasts. You know, always see people uh, with uh, with a reel out here and poles and rainbow's still there, which is nice. Pretty cool. Now they've started to have little festivals and stuff like that on the weekends here at this park every uh, Saturday of the summer. So, a lot of money uh, going into this park. They brought back the fireworks a few years ago, and even though COVID-19 kind of slowed that down a little bit, kind of slowed down the momentum of bringing stuff back um, uh, you have seen uh, seen the city of Ecor slowly come back which is pretty nice now, that used to be the Ecor's rowing club right there I think that they eventually tore down um, over here is the Ecor's boat club over here and that's right before you get into Wyandotte, Michigan Wyandotte is another city that borders the river and a lot of fishing uh, a lot of uh, 
boat enthusiasts. So I don't know what they're doing this, and I don't—I believe that it's private property, this little spot right here. But again, I, I'm not 100 percent sure. But it'd be cool if they put like a little restaurant or something here. That'd be really neat. There's the con there's a uh, condos over there right on the river, or fa looking at facing the river. And I also did a short uh, highlighting the walleye fishing here at Dingle Park, probably like a month uh, ago. So over there, so over the, uh, is River Rouge, the city, and there's a lot of uh, uh, dispensaries, marijuana dispensaries. And then you get into Delray, Detroit, which is part of the city of Detroit, and that's where you slowly uh, get closer to downtown Detroit. City of Friendship, have a safe and happy summer. That's nice. But, uh, so, you can see the, well, actually, you can't from here, but you can see, uh, the new bridge that goes to Canada called the Gordie Howe Bridge at some point uh, throughout this area. If that little island wasn't there, I'm sure you could see it. This is also, I think this is a memorial park, too, because there's a uh, Vietnam and Korea in World War II. Memorial there. So, E course is technically downriver still, I believe. And so, you're looking at a map, or if you're interested in downriver or whatever. If you go straight that way, then you can run into the city of Liga Park. Uh, behind me is the city of Wyandotte. And like I said, you go more north, you run into the city of River, River Rouge. Which is a lot like E-Course in the sense where it's a little run down. It was an old industry town. U.S. Steel used to be the main uh, source of economic... Uh, employment or whatever around here and that and, uh, you know that uh, that's shut down but you still have marathon you still have other forms of work around here of course but e-course for a long time has been kind of run down same with river rouge on a different level I'd say than the city of Lincoln Park Probably not as bad as parts, um, most parts of Detroit, but still not the most ideal place if you're looking for a, a quote-unquote safe area. So this particular area here at Ingle Park, it's not too bad. I mean, it's, I mean, crime does happen here for sure, but I mean, I don't feel unsafe walking through here. Even at night, it's not that bad. large police presence and a lot more uh, street lights and just upkept and monitored more. 
But as you go to a little bit more north, you run into the city of Eco or the city of River Rouge, and then you get into Delray, Detroit, which is run down, and then you go um, Jefferson. Eventually, stops. You have to go to down up to Fort Street, and then from there you run into near the Ambassador Bridge, which goes into Windsor, Canada, Windsor, Ontario, Canada. And then you're pretty. Then you're pretty much downtown. Uh, between here and downtown, it's a lot of industry, a lot of factories, and also a lot of marinas, though. Also, so. Anyways, I'm going to get off here now. If you like this video, then hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.